Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer was sent to me by John. This is Saxo, which is a Belgian blonde ale, and it comes in at 7.5% ABV. Uh, they're out of, if I can pronounce this, Thalmingnul, Thou, Belgium. Uh, it says 8% here on uh, on rape beer, but the bottle says 7.5%. It doesn't have a commercial description, so let's go straight over it. And I'll tell you what a, a Belgian strong pale ale is supposed to be. Uh, it says, like a Belgian pale ale, the strong version will also be pale to golden in color. What sets them apart is a much higher alcohol content that can range from hidden to spicy to devastatingly present. Expect a complex and powerful ale yet delicate with rounded flavors and a big, billowy, rocky white head. Hop and malt character can vary. Most are fruity and quite hoppy, but hop flavor and aroma will generally be within the low range and, art and artfully balanced. Duvel is a quintessential example, and I've got the Duvel glass, and I think that beer is awesome. Uh, and many others have tried to imitate it with similar reference to the devil. Uh, the food pairings for this, it says, general aspartame and digestive. The meat for this is game and salmon. The glassware is a snipper, tulip, oversized wine glass. I do have the double glass here. And it says it can be sold for long periods under the proper conditions. With a 7.5% I would say absolutely it could be sold for a while. So, unless, it's, unless they're intending it to be a hot forward version, I can't see why you could not sell it. So, let's get the cap off of this one. John, thanks again for sending me this one. Never seen it or had anything from these guys as far as I know. So into the glass we go. And we don't want a massive head. I don't want a massive head. A lot of people like that monster head. So we'll go down the center on the final end of the pour here. And that gives us just enough head there. About a finger, maybe a finger and a quarter of head. Over into the light. It's got a chill haze on it, it looks like. It's not cloudy. I can see the bulb through it, but it is not perfectly clear. It is a light golden color. Uh, a lot of bubbles streaming up. It looks like it's fairly well carbonated. The bubbles are mostly big, especially around the outside of the glass, but there are some smaller bubbles in there. So, let's get a nose on this one. Very fruity. Uh, pineapple. Maybe just a hint of banana. There's a nice malt backbone to this. The hops aren't really pungent. Uh, it's definitely the European style hops, uh, which are more floral and herbal in, in, in the nose. It smells very sweet. Uh, I'm not getting that much alcohol on the nose. So let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, John. Thank you, sir. Grapefruit, pineapple, a little bit of uh, biscuity malt in there. Not bitter whatsoever. Very well made beer because I'm not getting the alcohol either. Very well hidden. Very tasty. This is a winner, I believe. Very easy drinking for a seven and a half percenter. 40 degrees, like they always are. We're going to let it warm up just a hair here. Let the other half taste it, and I'll come back and we'll do the final jug on this one. Very impressive beer. Very nice Belgian strong. So, uh, you do have that Belgian yeast in there, too. Pretty tasty. I'll be right back, guys. Hi, right, guys. I'm back. I've just a little left here. This is a pretty tasty beer. A lot of pineapple and grapefruit, the Belgian yeast is in there, a little bit of uh, crackery or bready uh, taste in, the, in it. Uh, not getting the alcohol now that it's warmed up. It's very well made beer, guys. So let's do the final chug. John, thanks again, brother. Cheers. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very sweet. A lot of 
herbal and floral hops in there. Very tasty. And it does have a date on the back of the bottle, even though it's a seven and a half percenter and it can be selling for a while. Can't think of any reason why you could not sell this one. The date on this one, they've got uh, 1120, uh, I mean, uh, 1130 2014. So they want you to have this by the end of November of 2014. So. We still got plenty of time being uh, here in uh, uh, late January, early February. So, uh, but if you've had this, give me some comments back on this and let me know whether you like it or didn't like it. I did like it. I mean, I've had, I think Dubois is better than this, but it's still a pretty tasty beer. I'm on the fence whether it's a B plus or an A minus. So. But since it's got the date on the back of it, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go ahead and give them the 8, which is an A minus. Very well made beer, didn't get any alcohol at all in the taste or the nose. Very tasty. John, thanks again for sending this one. Don't think I've had anything from these guys before. So let's see what the other guys got to say. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says it's 87, which is in their very good range. I would not knock that number. Uh, I may be a little generous with it. Uh, the date means a lot to me when I see that on there. Uh, that usually uh, kicks them up a notch. Uh, they are taking that step to do that. And most of the European beers have that. But a lot of them that they import over here, uh, they, they seem to lose that date for other information, government warnings and all that kind of crap. So they were able to do all that and still keep the date on there. So thumbs up to them for doing that. So let's go over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate beer, rate beer has a good number overall, uh, 94 overall and 88 in the style. So we'll average that, both those together and come up with about a 90 or a 91. And that's about where I'm putting it. I, if I was to put a number on it, I'd give it a 91. So, guys, pretty tasty beer from the guys over in Belgium. This is Saxo, Saxo which is, uh, it says Belgian strong ale here on the, the site but uh, it says Belgian blonde on here and most of your blondes are a low ABV and this one's a little bit bigger than that so very tasty I'm not a big uh, blonde ale fan but when it's uh, got this much taste uh, it's pretty enjoyable pretty pretty tasty so let me know what you think if you've had it and as always guys hit that like button rate comment subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow we're gonna look in the fridge see you then